Okay. Uh, I, I... Calamaros is really cool and a really, like, useful project, but I just need to say that Calamaros looks absolutely awful. <laughs> like, it's, it's really badly themed. It's very functional, but... I just don't like the look. What's been done here looks really good. I was, uh, that's why I made it look li like that, because I was in the same boat as you. <laughs> I was like, it looks like crap. It, it's got a vertical <laughs> thing. It's, yeah. We need to change it a little bit. And I need to, to, to shout out, uh, what's her name? Dem mm -hmm. uh, on, on the Calamaris group on Telegram. Without her, I w wouldn't have been able to do this. She mm -hmm. pointed everything I, uh, I needed uh, to figure out. So uh, it's only one line. <laughs> it's only one line. That's <laughs> good. Mars is like horizontal instead of, uh, uh, so, sorry, top instead of side. When you set the, 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 the vertical, you set it to top, it mm -hmm. automatically makes it horizontal. Because hmm. that's Calamaris 3.3, not Calamaris 3.2. Right. 3.3 uh, completely changed. Uh, yeah. She showed me how to do it because she did it first and she does it even better. And there was a poll recently on the Calamaris group. Mm -hmm. Should they in include music in the installer? <laughs> um, cracked software, anyone? Piracy installers, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Razer 1911, anyone? Oh, God. Core ISO, anyone? Oh, uh, dude. Doing that. Because they used to, in, uh, they used to uh, embed games in Calamaris. A game you can play, like Tetris or whatever. Okay. While the system was installing. Uh, Endeavor did that at some point, and they <laughs> stopped it. But I'm like, no. Don't let, don't, don't let the user touch anything while the system is installing. Because if anything goes wrong... Uh, so yeah, no. But this they wanted to show the power of Calamaris. You can right. embed anything, whatever you want, uh, in it. it. Doesn't matter. You can in, you can even include a uh, embed a YouTube video. Hmm. That would be interesting because that doesn't require user input. Mm -hmm. You could just blast your your <laughs> distro in front of it. Uh, the user will start the installation. He wants to get up, and then suddenly he hears video playing. I'm like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> It's funny. Calamaris is funny, but under the hood, I need I need to admit one thing. It's mm. still not good enough uh -huh. under the hood. Like when it comes to encryption, you have to do manual partitioning. Right. If you do auto partitioning, encryption is not so great. Right. Uh, and ZFS needs a lot of work. For, uh, there's a lot of users who use ZFS. I don't, but there's a lot of users who use ZFS for their uh, NAS storage or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still Funky in uh, in Calamaris. So uh, uh, for advanced installs, I recommend users to do a regular Arch install because the Arch install is on the ISO. Mm -hmm. Even on zero Linux, it's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't remove that package. Mm -hmm. So users, okay. if they don't want to to to, uh, to use Calamaris, they can opt to uh, use Arch install. The only thing is, they will end up with regular Arch. They won't end up with zero Linux. Right, because right. I didn't program it that way. Uh, but they can still install pure Arch using the Arch install using zero Linux ISO. Have you uh, um, have you looked into whether you can make like a zero Linux install fit into Arch install, or just it would be too much work? Yes, uh, uh, actually, uh, what Eric Dubois shows how to do that. Okay, uh, you can modify the scripts. Yeah, uh, I know you could modify. I just wasn't sure if it was too much work to get it done. I, or... I can modify that, I, uh, but I'm not about that. That's uh, fair. So I don't want to encourage. I just tell people, you want pure Arch? Because a lot of users come and tell me, we don't want zero Linux, but I downloaded zero Linux. <laughs> so I want just pure install. Uh, like, okay, you have the Arch install script. Just run it. <laughs> it's right there. Go to a TTY and run it. You would get a pure Arch, and then you select whichever does Someone in on the community, mm -hmm. on the Zero Linux community, is trying to do exactly what you just said. Okay. Trying to embed Arch install with Zero Linux. And then they have at this point, they have their selection of whatever they want to install. They want to install GNOME, uh, i3, BSBWM, whatever. Mm -hmm. Those I will not have any customizations for. 
But if they choose to install GNOME, XFCE, or uh, KDE, mm -hmm. they will come with my customization. Okay. Uh, so he's trying to work on that. Uh, whenever it come, it happens, it happens. He's doing it on his free time. He has university right now. Fair enough. And yeah. And all that. But this is what he's trying to do. Mm -hmm. It might happen. If it happens, I'm going to announce it. If it doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, I'm working as hard as I can. I'm crunching every moment I have uh, power 